What's going on, everybody? End of the season, Gridiron Games. It's been a long one. There's been some bumps into it. People shot up, shot down, all over the place onto it. But I got the three um, prizes here for the top three people. We're going to go over those here in a second. Uh, very happy. I liked how it went this year myself overall, because I didn't have to remind everybody every week, you know, hey, check your Gridiron Games, da da da, -da and all that stuff. Winners off of midseason got with me within a day, which is great to, if I didn't have their addresses to get this stuff out to them. If I had them, I sent them an email saying, hey, is this still current because I haven't shipped to you in a while? It, I couldn't ask for anything better. Thanks, guys, for making it very, very easy this year on to it. All right, you guys are waiting. Prizes, right? Third place. I believe you guys remember seeing this. This was the other one. Quad book it booklet from the 15 just looked at this thing too yeah 2015 national treasures these are player worn you have from the rookie year yeah cooper i don't know about ty if that was his rookie or not aguilar and lockett i'm I think lockett was 14 i could be off but i do know it's cooper's rookie year for sure out of them all pretty cool looking patches on to them third place this will be yours oh Forgot to say, I will hit all the winners up with who wins what, too, in a separate video next week. Second place, I picked a collection, or collection, a lot up this past weekend. And it was the impeccable bar, silver bars you guys seen. Really, really cool stuff. There was a double of this card. Just so everybody knows, I placed these in values of what I thought they would be valued at, because some of this stuff you just won't see. These first-year impeccable bars are very hard to find prices on. Um, anybody's called me and we've gone over stuff over the phone, want to know exactly what I'm saying. Last two years, not many have sold. I know from trying to find the Roethlisberger, and thank goodness I finally own one, so I'm really happy on that. I lost out, I don't know what it was, six months, a year ago, to one online on eBay, the only one I've seen in a long time, and kicked myself for it. But this was a double. Marcus Allen just sold last night. I think it was 120 or 125 So this guy here should be around that ballpark. I want to say this was his rookie year, too. David Johnson, silver bar, out of 12, one Troy out to silver. Now, as I said, a lot of these silvers are starting at what I call tarnish. I think somebody called it oxidation or something like that. I will not clean these. I will not touch them. Um, I was advised against it anyhow. One, I know they could be cut while well, later on these were really loose in some of these where people were opening up boxes, these things went flying out. So winter, it's up to you what you do with it, if you want to clean it or whatever. But these are very, very hard to find. I want to say out of six, 2016, I only found like eight sales, ten sales in the last two years. People are hoarding these things. But really cool piece. Figured somebody out there would like this. If you don't, you guys could always resell these things and get something else you like offhand. Winner, winner, winner. Close one there, too. That could still go anyway, I believe, this week. I, I didn't look after last week because I, I won't lie. I was waiting to find out what's going on between the Bengals and um, the Bengals. Yeah, the Bengals and the Bills. I'm like, what the heck am I talking about here? Anyhow, and... I know it was close before that, so good luck going into it to find a week top three as well, too. I know I talk bad about a lot of products out there. I'm not a fan of this product, but I'm a fan of this parallel out of it. Protons. These are really cool. This is Chris Olave. These are numbered out 25. This has a little bit of a two-color patch, and I know the team bag and lighting is probably not doing it justice right now. Let me just try something here. But if you're the winner and you get to see this in person or you ever see one of these, these are eye-catching. I like them. Like I said, I own two, yeah, two, maybe three. Now I just thought, about it. I think I own three others from uh, other years. They're just really cool pickups I just have. I like the way they look onto it. They're relatively uh, inexpensive compared to what you would pay for a lot of out of other 25, you know, relic, material, rookie auto stuff out there. When I picked this up, there were three prices myself and Cora were looking at. It was $180, 200 240 last three sales, so we went with $200 average onto it. 
But really, really cool piece to the winner. Um, I like it a lot. Really cool. I, I just I just look at these and I just get amazed by them. Uh, just how they've come out with stuff. When I was a little kid, if you guys remember the little stickers they used to get and you used to uh, have sticker books. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was died down after I was a kid too in like the early 80s. They carry these stickers you used to push, and they would swirl and kind of like change colors and stuff. That's what those kind of remind me of. It's just really cool. Same with like a Genesis, the way the wave effect goes on, the blending of colors. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But again, hopefully you guys like uh, the end of the year stuff this year. I did try to get a Terry Bradshaw rookie for the end of the year. Oh, did I ever try. And that's where I found out about the eBay thing that they fix where I'd be the high end and then high winner waiting, 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 waiting. Like two minutes would go by. You've been out bid. I'm like, how? Go in there and look. More bids are going on. So it frustrated me there. Found some at some shows. Guys just wanted way, way overpriced. I mean, I was even offering, you know, 20 bucks overpriced. They wouldn't take it because they were just extremely high on to it. But yeah, tried on that. I thought that would be the cool thing for the end of the year, but just didn't work out. But that Olave, very, very nice overall. I actually would rather have the Olave than, you know, a 2.5 to 3, a Terry Bradshaw out there, I, I think, personally. But I could be wrong. You guys might, the winner might rather have the Bradshaw, too. But all right, guys, I'm out. Thank you for a good year of Gridiron. We'll do it again next year, same way, midseason, end of the season type deal with giveaways on to it. Other than that, guys, I'm out. Catch y'all next one.